Hi, I'm Doc Susan, and I'm part of the farm, a medically supervised wellness destination. So, we manage health or wellness holistically, meaning the space where you're being managed or being handled for your health and wellness concern is on a space that allows you to get energy from the space itself. The trees around us, the forest cover that we have, allows you to get energy from the trees. You would not imagine how trees can really shower. So I, you must have heard of uh, forest bathing. That's basically what can be done at the farm at San Benito. And we also be do, been doing serving good food. Good food meaning farm to table from our farm to our table. So the carbon footprint are really, really very small, especially that we serve vegetable. So we really encourage people and we do wellness concert, wellness advisory on why we should be eating vegetables. Now, in relation to our event today, what's on your plate defines what, what the Earth future will be. Because 7 to 20 kilos of plant food is consumed to just create a kilo of meat. So instead of being able to feed a barangay with your 20 kilos vegetable, you just feed one or two people with your kilo of meat. Now, in terms of water conservation, if you have 10 glasses of water, one glass of that goes to the people, while the nine glasses would go to the animals we need to raise and feed ourselves. So eating meat as compared to eating vegetable is really ecologically unsustainable. Next, that the vegetable we eat should be the vegetable that grows around us. Imagine this, you go on YouTube, you would have seen children in our remote spaces who are so able to walk five to seven kilometers to get to school without yaya, without moms to send them to school. And while walking, they sing and dance. And every time we see them, we would always call them kawawa. But can you imagine had we call them differently, had we call them strong, determined, and healthy children, we would have long ago discovered that whatever made them strong, healthy, and determined would not have come from where they're going, would have come from where they came from. Now, if I were to ask you, would you know what they have, where they came from? Honestly, I think you cannot answer yes, because even teachers who would have you know, accepted the children in their classes and have asked them, what did you have for breakfast? And the child would say, none. And the teacher believed him that he didn't take anything before going to school while walking five to seven kilometers to get to school. The teachers believed that he didn't take anything. Can you imagine, can you walk a kilometer without eating? So. When the child say, wala, what would he mean? He meant walang English name because we teach our children in English and whatever we have in the many spaces of this country may not have an English name. Our country is one of the most eco-diverse and the farm showcase the bounties we have. We're surrounded by thick forest that really covers us from extreme weather condition, even Ta'al eruption. We're even safe from the ash fall of Ta'al. And during the pandemic, we were protected by the microbiome coming from the many vegetation we have at the farm. So honestly, I'm so thankful we have a space like this. Sana rin, naglagay ng mga food hubs na gulay para sa heritage cooking or community cooking para pakita ano ba yung sustainable diet. Kasi hindi pwede, hindi pa natin ipakilala ano yung dati. We need to confront this as early as now. We cannot sustain for We need to eat gulay.